Once again, I welcome you to today's Eucharistic sacrifice. We'd like to thank the Lord for the gift of life. We want to pray for all the sick, sick brothers and sisters of ours. And we continue to pray for the dead. As I noted at the beginning of this Mass, our theme goes, Seek the face of God. Dear brothers and sisters, in these challenging moments of COVID-19 pandemic, find time to seek the face of God. In this passage of Exodus, as given to us in the first reading, we note that in the Old Testament, God's plan to dwell among his people, indeed to have a profound, profound personal relationship with each one of us, is already revealed in the outline. This divine intention begins to come to life with the initiative of Moses, who pitches the tent and calls it the tent of meeting. He had planted it, says the Bible, outside the camp at a certain distance. God, in fact, cannot dwell among his people because the people have sinned, have turned away from him, have been idolatrous. The tent is therefore distant, but it is accessible. Anyone who wanted to consult the Lord went to this tent, as we have heard in the first reading. John in the New Testament will tell us that the word of God the Son of God has pitched his tent in our midst. Moses entered the tent, and Scripture says, The Lord spoke with him face to face, as one man speaks to another man. We again have a sketch of God's plan, that is, of the incarnation. Moses comes face to face with the Lord in a mysterious way, and the Lord speaks to him as a man could speak. God had not yet incarnated. The Son of God had not yet become man. But in this episode, in which God speaks to Moses as one man speaks to another, there is a certain similarity to what will happen in the New Testament. With the incarnation of Jesus Christ, Truly, a man speaks to us, a man who at the same time is God, and who speaks to us not only as a man, speaks to another man, but as a friend, speaks with a friend. I no longer call you servants. I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from the Father, I have made known to you. John chapter 15, verse 15. In the new covenant, every man, every woman, each one of us is invited to this personal, profound relationship with God. A relationship not only face to face, but heart to heart. It is a wonderful privilege which we must welcome with respect, with admiration, with gratitude. The Eucharist offers us the unprecedented possibility of receiving Jesus Christ, the Son of God, made our brother, our friend, not only in our midst, but within us to speak with us, to listen to us, to let him guide our whole life and fill it with his love. May the Lord help us to appreciate ever better this great gift. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us seek the face of God in these challenging moments of COVID-19 pandemic by finding time to examine our consciences, by spending time before the Blessed Sacrament, by spending time in prayer. We also seek the face of God when we help the needy brothers and sisters of ours. Just like Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 37 to 40, 
Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatsoever you did to the least of my brothers and sisters in Christ, you did that unto me. Dear friends, let us seek the face of God in our midst in prayer and doing charitable acts to those who are in need. Aboganda bagara enyo tuongelo kubebaza machitambi dochino eche misa kubanga brijo muyungibo wamu ora Facebook ya fe ya alubaga cathedral. Omulamu wagu wa feguga amati no nya amaso gomu kama. Sine mumbele ni somoza e ye chiruaji cha corona kumina muenda no nya amaso gomu kama. Kakati ngomulamu wagu nungusi ngokuwa musumeri soka. Kubanga tuulide edivude mchitabu cha malamaga omutwe ogwasa tumwesa tu nti Musa ya kula wema e ye nsisinkano buliye na iyari uwokwe buza kumukama ya genda anga eri weme no e ye nsisinkano e weru olu sisira e ratu ulide musumeri yonti umukama ya yogira angane Musa gabatu luri ganye maso kumaso ngo mtu wa yogira ni mkwano kwe aboganda abagara e chikaka fuchiri nti katonda ye fulo omuntu na jaje tuli ekikaka fuchiri nti ne mu mbere eno gate tulina kya kulya emirimu gicha ali migale abantu bafi barwadde omukama wali mu mbere eno je tuitam kubanga katonda ye fulo omuntu na atufanana na itane mu mbere azino zonna ze tuitam kati fetu so mozebwa okulabikanga tumunonya mu mbere eno ate yenyini nyini ya gamba muvangiri ya yowana omutwe ogwe 15 nti fa tutwa tatwala ngaba baddu atwala ngaba mikwano je iranga wachikonye ko musomo elisoka ti yogera ne musa singo omuntu mula wayogera no omuntu mane ngo omuntu wayogera ne mukwano gwe awono katondo ono mukwano gwa fe era wali mwetegefu okutuddukirira tumunonye nadara ngabuli jo Tufuna obudde okwetunulira mitima jaffe ebiroze ebi byokuterebuka bitu bade tuisemu tumunonye nadanga tumala obudde nga tuli maso gesa akalamentu tumunonye nga twegayira makaga gaffe sichoka tumunonye nga tuyamba banaffe abali mu bwetavu kubanga nga bwe tumanyira mu vanjiri ya mataro mtogo wabili mwetano ya gamba tyoyo yenna eyakolera omuntu oyi ali omulala omuyala yali ya yakolera ye awone mukolera obulungi banaffe tubatu nonya amaso go mukama mubbo awone twesabire omukama atwe nema iyo kumunonyanga mu mbere eno ate na ye bwati asobole okutambula naffe mu mbere azinozo nnaze tuita mu mukama abere namwe